I did it! They called me crazy, but I've created the very first Samsung Pixel! <laughs> Welcome back, tech heads. Okay, so my sister moved from a Google Pixel to a, a Samsung something or another. I can't remember which one it is. She hates the Samsung, but she's stuck with it now for about two years on the contract that she signed up for, and she can't return it. In fact, she did say, uh, I hate this phone. The software sucks. I miss the keyboard. And what the heck is this Bixby crap? Did she actually say that? Uh, you know, not in those exact words, but pretty much. So here's how I created the perfect Samsung Pixel. Step one. Open up the app drawer on your Samsung and search for Galaxy Themes. Once you see this app, tap on it and search Pixelize. Download the Pixelize theme and return to your home screen. You should now have a more pixel looking layout for your Samsung phone. But we still have this lame UI Samsung experience and my sister hates that so here's how we're gonna fix it. Step 2. Open up the Google Play Store app. Type in Lawn Chair. Here you go Blake. <sighs> no Kevin, I don't. The app is called Lawn Chair. I don't need a lawn chair. Oh. Once you see this app here, go ahead and tap the download button. Once it's ready, tap open and give the app permission to access your phone. However, you're probably going to have this problem immediately. Whenever you click the home button, the phone is automatically going to default to the original theme and not the one that we just downloaded, which is super annoying. So here's how we're going to fix that. Open the settings on your phone. Tap on apps, tap choose default apps, and then tap home app. Choose launch air as your default home launcher. And from now on, your phone will default to launch air and save you a ton of headaches. Maybe if you didn't bang your head against the wall so much, you wouldn't have any headaches. Uh, come on, it's, it's for the video. It's, it's funny, you know, smacking my head. I, but you know, if, if you want to get me some Advil, you know, I, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, yeah, be right back. Step three. So we now have the Pixel UI and no more Samsung garbage, but the apps still have that Samsung look to them. Here's the fix. Go to the Google Play Store and type in Pixel Pie. Did you say you wanted Pie too? No, no. The app is called, I don't need Pi, no. For, once you find Pixel Pi, tap download. Once downloaded, go to the home screen, hold your finger on the home screen until this menu pops up. Tap on home settings to open the launch chair settings. Next, tap on theme at the top. Tap on icon packs and choose the Pixel icon pack that we just installed. And now all of our icons should look exactly as a Pixel. Tech-tastic. Okay, and my sister also hates the Samsung keyboard, which I don't blame her. Step four, open the app store and search for G Gboard. Once downloaded, open the app and tap Enable in Settings. Toggle on Gboard and tap OK at the bottom. Then tap Select Input Method and choose Gboard as your default. Goodbye Samsung Keyboard, hello Pixel Keyboard. Here's your Advil. Oh. So are you done? Ah, uh, you know, not yet. I mean, it looks like a Pixel, it works like a Pixel. Everything's pretty much there, but the one thing that I can't figure out is how to get the, the Google feed, you know, when you swipe over and the Google News pops up. Ooh, I know how to fix that. Bonus! Hold your finger on on the home screen once again. Open the lawn chair settings right here. This time, tap on plugins, scroll down to Google Feed, and tap on it. Okay, it's asking me to get lawn feed. What am I, a cow? No! It's what the launcher calls their plugin. Okay, tap get lawn feed, and tap get lawn feed once again. Once downloaded, tap open. Side note. Okay, so you may run into this problem. By default, your phone will not let you install anything from unknown sources. That's, that's not the Google Play Store. So here's what you need to do. When this prompt shows up, up, tap on settings. From here, toggle allow from this source to allow Chrome to install apps. Or open your app drawer and go to settings. Scroll down to apps and tap on it. Then scroll down and find Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Scroll down to install unknown apps and then toggle on allow from this source. Once enabled, tap the back button and install lawn feed. Then tap show Google app feed and bam! We've now got our Google News back. Wow, this is perfect. Like my sister is going to love this and me. But you know what would go great with this brand new setup? Some of these amazingly fun and useful apps that I bet you've never heard of. So go check those out.